Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a date night makeup tutorial where I will be creating this look that I'm wearing right now. I created this look using the Smashbox LA Cover Shop palette. So yeah, if you want to see my favorite shadows from the palette and see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. So I'm starting out with my face makeup already on and my eyes already primed. You guys know the drill, you've seen me do this in basically every video I've posted, so if you want to see that, I'll go ahead and link my flawless face makeup tutorial. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started right into the eye makeup. So I actually bought this palette specifically for the date night look that I created. I was trying to think of a look to create for date night and I just thought that these shades right here were just so stunning and perfect for that kind of eye look. So I picked it up specifically to create this eye look that I'm going to show you guys today. So as always, the first thing that I'm going to do is start with a transition shade and you guys already know I love to use the shade Nectar as my transition shade. I just think that it's the perfect transition shade. So so I'm going to go ahead and apply that into my crease and a little bit above to help these shadows blend on top of it. My cat is just walking around behind all of my, like, my camera and everything and I see her about to knock it all over. So now I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the outer corner here with this shade right here. This one is called Java. It is the darkest brown in the palette, so it's perfect for deepening up the outer corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly apply that to the outer corner of my eye. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade that really drew me to this palette. That is this shade right here. This one is called There's Valet. It is just a stunning reddish brown color and it's so unique and gorgeous. I just am immediately drawn to it and absolutely love the way it looks on the eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that kind of on the outer corner and a little bit farther than the darker color we just placed, but still on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller crease brush and dip into the same color and just blend that into my crease very precisely. And then I'm going to go back into the light shade Nectar and just blend out the edges. So next I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Multitasking Detailing Brush and I'm going to dip into this lighter brown shade right here. This one is called Almond and I'm going to go ahead and place that in the crease but only in the inner corner of the eye. I'm just going to blend out the edges. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer brush and my Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 hour concealer and I'm going to go ahead and do a tiny tiny cut crease in the inner corner of my eye just to create a base for the shimmer shadow to sit on so that way it is super bright and pigmented. So now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and dip into this beautiful golden shimmer shade, which is called Drop Top. I'm just going to dip into it with my finger, and then I'm going to place it on top of concealer, which is going to make it even more bright and just stunning. Okay, I can handle this. <sighs> It's so beautiful. This is why I bought this palette. It's, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with this reddish brown shade and I'm going to blend the matte shade with the shimmer shade. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my flat fluffy brush and dip into the lighter brown shade right here again and just go ahead and sweep that on the lower lash line. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take my multitasking detailing brush again and dip into the gorgeous red brown shade and run that on my lower lash line as well, but closer to the lower lash line. And then back in with the fluffy brush, I'm taking Nectar once again and just using that to blend out the edges. And then of course we have to go in with a winged eyeliner for this look. So I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeliner and just create a wing. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is Deco, which is just a pretty shimmery shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over the very inner corner of my eye to kind of brighten it up and make it pop a little bit. I'm gonna add that to the brow bone as well. I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the shade Fishnet, and I'm just gonna line my tight line. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. And then for lips, I'm just gonna go in with a glossy nude lip today. So I'm taking the Smashbox Gloss Angeles Lip Gloss in the shade 72 and Honey. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoyed making it. This look is way more beautiful than I remember it, and I'm so just in love with how this look turned out. This palette is just my absolute favorite. You can create so many different looks with it. You can create bold looks and neutral looks and glam looks and, you know, darker looks. So if you guys have been looking for a really good palette to grab, I would highly suggest the Smashbox LA Cover Shop palette if you want to see my original review on this palette then I will link that as well. All of the products that I used in today's video are available at the Wildcat Shop at Central Washington University, so be sure to come in and check that out. I absolutely love, love, love all of these Smashbox products that I use in my videos every week, and if you haven't tried out Smashbox yet, I would highly recommend trying it out. We also have little kits in the Wildcat Shop. We have the Try Me Fan Fave set, which is probably what I would suggest for you guys. You get a trial size of the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish shadow primer which is my absolute favorite shadow primer you get a trial size of the smashbox super fan fanned out mascara you get a trial size of the smashbox photo finish foundation primer and you get one of the smashbox photo edit eyeshadow trios in the shade snap queen which is one of my absolute favorite color combinations and then you also get a trial size of a smashbox always on liquid lipstick which is my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formula and that one is in the shade throwback jam that whole set is a value of $45 but it's only $25 so if you're on the fence about spending the money to get these Matchbox products I would highly recommend that value set and then you can try out all of my favorite products and all the best-selling products and decide which ones you like and which ones you want to continue to purchase so those are super convenient and super nice and we do have those available in the Wildcat shop so yeah I think that's all I have for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video not jump down. Uh-uh. No. No. Do not jump down. I see you. Okay, so this book... Oh. I can speak, I promise.